Hello, welcome to Answering ATPL. In this video, we will discuss four different time formats used in aviation. We will look at the definition of each time format and later in the video, I will explain the method of converting from one time format to another time format. And we are starting right now. The four time format used in aviation are Local Mean Time LMT Greenwich Mean Time GMT Coordinated Universal Time UTC and Standard Time ST Local Mean Time The local mean time is defined as the time as determined by the mean sun at an observer local meridian. To understand this definition, we must first understand the mean sun. Mean sun is a fictitious sun. The sun that we see every day in our sky is not the mean sun. It is known as apparent sun or real sun. As a modern man, we all know that the earth is not the center of the universe. The earth orbits around the sun. However, to understand this concept easily, we need to imagine that the sun is orbiting around the earth. Shown on the screen is the animation that depicted the relationship between the real sun and the mean sun. Red in color is the real sun and light blue in color is the mean sun. As you can see, the real sun is sometime ahead of the mean sun and sometime lag behind the mean sun. This phenomenon happened due to the shape of the earth orbits around the sun. From the perspective of the observer on the face of the earth, it seemed like the sun is orbiting around the earth in an inconsistent amount of time. Check out my previous video titled Defining a Day and a Year to find out more about this phenomenon. Link is available in the description. To smooth out the inconsistency of the real sun, we average out the time it takes for the real sun to orbit around the earth over 365 days. The result of this operation gives us the mean sun. Local mean time is based on the amount of time taken by the mean sun to orbit around the earth in one day. One day is equal to 24 hours or 360 degree, which means 1 hour equal to 15 degree movement of the mean sun or 1 degree movement of the mean sun equal to 4 minutes. This figure needs to be memorized in order to answer the time question during examination. The second part of the definition mentioned at an observer local meridian. The position of the mean sun determines the local mean time at that particular meridian. The animation on the screen shows a mean sun orbiting around the Earth. 12 noon LMT at a meridian is the time when the center of the mean sun is aligned to that meridian. If we take the prime meridian marked in light blue as the reference meridian, 12 noon LMT at the prime meridian is when the center of the mean sun align with the prime meridian as shown on the screen. At the same time, at meridian 45 degree east, the time is 1500 LMT, whereas at 45 degree west, the time is 0900 LMT. To better understand this concept, I will transform this animation onto a flat Mercator map. This animation does not put into consideration the effect of declination on the hour of daylight and darkness, as I do not want to make it too complicated. As you can see, 12 noon is moving across the map relative to the center of the mean sun. Now, prime meridian is at 12 noon. As you might notice, the local mean time to the east of prime meridian is increasing 
and to the west of prime meridian, the local mean time is decreasing. So we can summarize this phenomenon as to the east, local mean time increase and to the west, local mean time decrease. To understand the LMT date change, we will use this diagram. We look onto the earth from the top with the mean sun orbiting around it. As we had learned before, 12 noon occur when the mean sun is in transit with the local meridian. On the opposite meridian, the time is at 12 midnight. As an example, we take longitude 90 degree east as our local meridian. We are now at 11 pm on the 30th of April when the sun is in transit with 90 degree west which is 90 degree east anti-meridian LMT at 90 degree east turn to 12 midnight at the same time the date at 90 degree east changes from 30th of April into 1st of May LMT date change occurred at a particular meridian when the mean sun is in transit with its opposite meridian. Greenwich mean time is defined as the mean solar time of the longitude 0 degree of the Royal Observatory in England. Greenwich is a small town located southeast of London. The prime meridian or 0 degree longitude run through this town. Local mean time at Royal Observatory in Greenwich is known as Greenwich Mean Time. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I publish a new content. Coordinated Universal Time UTC Coordinated Universal Time is defined as the mean solar time of the longitude 0 degree kept using atomic clock. Based on the definition, UTC and GMT are practically the same, except their accuracy. We will not discuss the difference between UTC and GMT as it is very complicated. As a pilot, we can literally assume that UTC and GMT are the same. If we kept time using UTC, no matter where we are, we will report the local mean time at Greenwich or Prime Meridian. If you compare UTC to individual meridian local mean time, we can divide the Earth's surface into 25 time zones. Each time zone is 15 degree wide in longitude, except for the last two time zones, which is 7.5 degree wide. It starts at Prime Meridian, and the first boundary is 7.5 degree east and west of the prime meridian. This time zone is also given an alphabetical code as shown on the screen. In military lingo and often used in aviation, UTC time zone is also known as Zulu time zone. Thus, 1500 UTC can also be mentioned as 1500 Zulu. This time zone refers to local mean time and it is purely derived based on longitude. UTC date change occurs when the mean sun is in transit with 180 degree longitude. This is known as the international deadline. I will use the diagram on the screen to explain the significance of international deadline. If LMT at Meridian Greenwich is 0900 on the 15th of May, the time at 180 degree longitude is 2100. But on what date? If we use the time zone overlay, we can see that there are two time zones next to 180 degree longitude. On the west is my time zone or UTC plus 12 and on the east is Yankee time zone or UTC minus 12. To the west of 180 degree longitude, the time is 2100 on the 16th of May and to the east of 180 degree longitude, the time is 2100 on the 15th of May. A rule can be derived from this phenomenon. In mathematical term, you add one day when traveling west across the international deadline, 
and you subtract 1D when traveling east across the international deadline. However, if we transform this rule into language form, it will be a bit confusing, especially to non-native English speaker like myself. The rule will be like this. You lose one day when traveling west across the international deadline and you gain one day when traveling east across the international deadline. Standard time is defined as the official time in a local region adjusted for location around the earth established by law or custom. Previously, I had mentioned that the local mean time is not suitable to be used for timekeeping. Let's look at an example. We will take my country, Malaysia, as an example. The mean sun is now overhead Kuantan, so that the LMT at Kuantan is 1200. Kuantan is located on longitude 103 degree 20 minute east. At the same time, local mean time at Temelo, located on longitude 102 degree 25 minute east, is 11.56 LMT. Further east lies Kuala Lumpur, on longitude 101 degree 41 minute east. The time is 11.53 LMT. When the mean sun is in transit with Temelo, the time at Kuantan is 12.04 LMT and the time at Kuala Lumpur is 11.57 LMT. As you could see, if we use LMT to set our watch, we need to reset our watch each time we change location. It will not be convenient for us. Furthermore, it will be an administrative nightmare if all cities have their own time. Next, we will look at Fiji, an archipelagous nation in the vicinity of Anti Meridian. In the previous segment, we determined the international deadline for UTC lies at 180 degrees east or west meridian. This will cut Fiji in half. The eastern side of Fiji and the western side of Fiji will be on a different date. Imagine how to administrate a country that span less than 300 nautical miles across that have two different dates. The solution is the international deadline for standard time is shifted from 180 degree east or west meridian to accommodate countries located near anti meridian as shown on the screen. Therefore, the deviation of standard time from UTC can be as much as 14 hours. All the time formats that we have discussed in this video does not consider the effect of declination. To adjust for the changes in the length of daylight, some countries adopt daylight saving time or summer time into their standard time. Now we will look at a few calculation examples. Example 1. If the UTC time is 1500, find the local mean time and standard time at Tokyo, which located at 35 degree 38 minute north, 139 degree 40 minute east, Japan standard time is UTC plus 9. First, we will find Tokyo local mean time. As we had discussed before, 1500 UTC is the local mean time at the prime meridian or zero degree longitude. We can calculate the time difference between Tokyo and prime meridian by finding the longitude change. Change of longitude equal 139 degree 40 minute east minus zero degree. Change of longitude equal 139 degree 40 minute toward the east. Time difference equals change of longitude divided by 15 degree per hour time different equal 139 degree 40 minute over 15 time different equal 9 hours 18 minute and 40 second for time calculation problem you can round up the second 
to the nearest minute. Thus, time difference equals 0919. Since Tokyo lies to the east of Prime Meridian, it is UTC plus or sometimes referred as fast on UTC. Thus, to get Tokyo local mean time, we need to add the time difference to Prime Meridian local mean time. Local mean time at Prime Meridian 1500, time difference plus 0919. Local mean time at Tokyo equals 2419. The maximum clock value is 24 hours. We need to normalize this value. To normalize the value, we minus this value with 2400. Thus, the LMT at Tokyo is 0019. Now, we will calculate the standard time. We were given Japan standard time, UTC plus 9. UTC time is 1500. We can write the given value as a formula. Standard time equals UTC plus 9. Standard time equals 1500 plus 0900. Standard time at Tokyo equal 2400 or 0000 or midnight. Example 2. If the standard time at New York is 0900 Eastern Standard Time UTC minus 5, position 40 degree 41 minute north, 73 degree 59 minute west, Find the standard time and local mean time of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysian standard time UTC plus 8, position 03 degree 10 minute north, 101 degree 41 minute east. The data given to us are, standard time at New York is 0900 and New York standard time equal to UTC minus 5. From this data, we can find UTC time. 0900 equal to UTC minus 0500. Thus, UTC equals 1400. After we convert New York Standard Time into UTC, we can now find Kuala Lumpur Standard Time. Kuala Lumpur Standard Time equals UTC plus 8. We just take the UTC time that we had calculated before and plug it into the formula. Kuala Lumpur standard time equal 1400 plus 0800. Kuala Lumpur standard time equals 2200. Having solved the standard time problem, we will continue to solve the local mean time problem. To calculate Kuala Lumpur LMT, it is easier if we measure the change of longitude from the prime meridian. That is why, for most of time question, it is a good idea to convert the given time into UTC to help us solve the question. Change of longitude from prime meridian to Kuala Lumpur equals 101 degree 41 minute east minus 0 degree. Change of longitude equals 101 degree 41 minute toward east. The mean sun is orbiting the earth at the rate of 15 degree per hour. To find the time difference between Kuala Lumpur and Prime Meridian, we need to divide change of longitude with the rate of mean sun orbit. Time difference between Prime Meridian and Kuala Lumpur equal to 101 degree 41 minute divided by 15 degree per hour. Time difference equal to 
6 hours and 47 minutes. Since the direction is toward the east, we need to add time different to UTC time. Thus, Kuala Lumpur LMT equals 1400 plus 0647. Kuala Lumpur LMT equals 2047. What do you think of this video? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you find the video beneficial, please like it and share with others. By doing so, you will help other people to find the video. If you want to learn more about ATPL or other aviation related stuff, subscribe now by clicking on the round subscribe icon. Please check out my other video by clicking on the rectangular box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.